Next is struggle for existence. Struggle for existence. Due to overproduction, a geometric ratio of increase in population occurs. Already in the first topic, we have discussed about overproduction. You know very well what is meant by overproduction. Yes, of course, a single all living species can have their own young one by the process of reproduction. And some of the species, they produce a very enormous number of young ones. Because of that, the population is increased and leads to population explosion. Okay. So, what happened? What is the next consequence of overproduction or overpopulation? Struggle for existence. Automatically, struggle for existence. Valvadar kana pora term. Due to overproduction, a geometric ratio of increase in population occurs. Yes. The space to live and food available for the organism remain the same. This creates an intense competition among the organisms for food and space leading to struggle. Okay. What is the consequence? Okay. Number of species is increased enormous. Okay. But the space available to live and the food to consume remain the same. So, what is the next step? Automatically, it started the struggle to get the living space and also for food. And the struggle for existence are of three types. This struggles for existence are three types. One is intraspecific struggle, interspecific struggle and environmental struggle. What is mean by intraspecific struggle? Competition among the individuals of the same species that is called intraspecific struggle. One the next one is interspecific struggle. What is mean by that? It is nothing but between intra means same, inter means between two. Okay. So intra means same species. Struggle among the same species is called intraspecific struggle. Inter means what competition between the organisms of different species living together. And next one is environmental struggle. Natural conditions like extreme heat or cold, dust and floods can affect the existence of organism. Okay. So, that is called what environmental struggle. Natural conditions like extreme heat or cold, dust and floods can affect the existence of organism. This is environmental struggle. So, there are three types of struggle for existence, intraspecific struggle, interspecific struggle and environmental struggle. Next one is variation. The occurrence of variation is a characteristic features of all plants and animals, right? So, small variation are important for evolution. See, if you imagine that all the organisms are same without any difference among them, what uh, what happen? All the living organism or belongs to same species. That is called variation. Or kaka irkna the kaka oda structure liyo, ladunodiya function liyo, or chinnna changes nadanda da. Okay, that is called variation. And the change over a generation it become a bigger one and finally leads to a new species. The chinna da nadaka kudiya or changes adutta 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 generation la perusagi final a or pudhiya inam boomi la thondrathu kana vaip irukka. Apo variation nadanda da evolution nadakkom. So variation is the basic property for the development of evolution right. Okay. Small variation are important for evolution. That is what they are saying that small variations are important for evolution. According to Darwin, favorable variations are useful to the organism. Unfavorable variations are harmful or useless to the organism. In the variation, there are two types. One is beneficial, another one is harmful. The variation with beneficial are uh, helpful for the organism to survive on the earth and leads to new organism. But the variation some of the variation are harmful and uh, the organism with this variation cannot survive on the earth and will not be inherited to the ex next generation. So, favorable or beneficial variation only inherited to the next generation. 
Next is survival of the fittest or natural selection. During this struggle for existence, the organism which can overcome the challenging situation survive and adapt to the surrounding environment organisms which are unable to face the challenges or unfit to survival and disappear. What here they are speaking about survival of fittest. So, already we have discussed that there are changes in the environment and the competition is there, over competition is there. Uh, in the over competition, the organism with suitable adaptation can be uh, able to uh, survive in the surrounding environment. The organism which are unable to face the challenges taken place in the environment cannot be survived it will be disappear. So, automatically nature can select the adaptable uh, futures and uh, nature can disappear the unfavorable characters. Okay. The process of selection of organism with the favorable variation is called natural selection. Next one is origin of species. According to Darwin, new species originates by the gradual accumulation of favorable variation for a number of generation. Okay. One generation with favorable variation inherited to the next generation. This favorable variation will be inherited to the uh, successive generation and finally develop into a new organisms or new species. And this is the step for step A to originate the new species and for the evolution process, right. This is called what origin of species. And here also we are having one flow chart. Uh, this is a flow chart for uh, Darwin concept, overproduction already we have discussed due to overproduction there is a competition for living space and food that is called a struggle for existence and it leads to what variation, small variation will be taken place in an organism. If the variation is uh, survive in the earth or selected by the natural selection, it is uh, fitted for the environment. And this survival of a test character will be inherited to the next generation. And this gradual favorable character will be uh, gradually accumulated one after generation after generation. Finally, origin of new species. But in case of eliminated, suppose if the character or variation will be unfavorable, organism eliminated from the environment. This is what a flow chart of Darwinism postulation. This is also will have as a 4 mark question children. And today I will stop with this. And the next topic is variation. About variation I will discuss with you in my next class. And uh, for today's homework you have to learn about the Darwin's concept full. Full Darwin's concept okay from over production from Darwinism to till the origin of new species. Till that you will have as a homework complete and send it to me children. Bye. And uh, children you will get your January monthly test very soon. Um, please prepare yourself. Do not waste your time. And uh, already we have class teachers might be informed that you will not have any weekend test. Weekend test. So, make use of this time for your January monthly test preparation and do your test properly. Okay. All the best children. Bye.